I mean, I never really saw it as uh, him being Kimbo Slice, you know? He, it was more like he was my dad, you know? It wasn't like, oh, a celebrity, a celebrity. It wasn't until after the fact he passed away to where I see all these people reaching out and I, I understand how big he was, you know? Fighting is definitely in my blood, you know? I'm the oldest out of 12 siblings. So I always had to step up for my brothers and my sisters, you know? So I was always fighting in the streets and I guess that's how I got my name. The first time me and my dad trained, I was like, uh, maybe like 14, 15. And he's like, you sure you want to do this, son? And I'm like, yeah, I want to fight. He's like, you sure? I'm like, I told him, I'm like, yeah. He asked me three times about sure, and I'm like, yes, this is what I want to do. So we put on the gloves, and I sparred with him. And uh, I, I was tagging him a little bit, but then he hit me with a body shot, and I just went down, and I was like, oh, I'm done. I don't want to do this no more. And I didn't want to do it no more. You know, I quit. I was like, all right, I'm done. I don't want to do it. Two days later, I was back in the gym training. Like when it comes down to, to your kids, you want to give them everything about you, what you have so that they could be a little bit better, a little bit stronger, a little bit smarter, a little bit wiser. You just want your offsprings to be a little bit better than you were. He was strict, he was tough. You know, he always say, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything, you know? And uh, he just, you know, he made me who I am. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be this guy right now. I wouldn't be the man I am today.